for colored people here. No, it wouldn't. Have. The last time Lynn Council was at this art center in Apex, North Carolina, the inside looked very different. For decades, this was Town Hall. This is the first floor, and you would have come all the way back here, and the jail cells were back here. Even 67 years later, Lynn remembers well the time he spent here and the man who arrested him. Back then, Apex Police Chief Sam Bagwell acted with near impunity to carry out racist attacks. His brutality was well documented by news outlets of the time, but he escaped most punishment because he was, as the Carolina Times put it, a valuable asset to the average southern town. His job, quote, to keep Negroes in their place. He was a mean man now. He ain't mean raised by him. One November so, Tuesday in 1952, Bagwell arrested Lynn Council, claiming he was a suspect in an unsolved convenience store robbery. Council would not admit to a crime he says he did not commit. Lynn recalls Bagwell became more and more frustrated by his denial. He hit me, slapped me, slapped me on the stool. Apex Town historian Toby Hollenman says then Council was taken to Wake County for more interrogation. The next day, a trial. At which time it appears he pled not guilty because he wasn't guilty. The next morning, two of Bagwell's sheriff deputies took Lynn and the other seven suspects into their police cars. They drove 10 miles into the country to what's now a two-lane highway near a suburban neighborhood. Council says he was led underneath this tree where a noose was looped around his neck. And then they got on the other end of the rope and pulled it so they pulled his feet off the ground. I thought myself, I said, they going to keep me down here in the wood and do me and leave me down here. And after a minute hanging off the ground. And he dropped me down. Yeah. Tell him where that money at. Lynn had no answer. He was taken back to prison and released the next day. All right. I want to hear what you got to say. Earlier this year, Lynn told his story for the first time. When Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker heard it, he felt called to act. It just kind of rested on me and my heart uh, to stop and recognize uh, for the entire world that this office uh, did a terrible thing. The Apex Police Department publicly apologized to Lynn, and the community held a ceremony in his honor. On top of that, Apex's police chief removed Bagwell's brick and his picture was taken down in the police station. These small tokens of remorse This key is to that jail. while unable to remove Lynn's scars have helped heal his soul. That's right. I feel like I got one. I feel like I got a clean heart. And moving forward I pray that something like that will never happen to another human being in this county to um, treat a human being the way that he did um, and in a manner which halts the history of, uh, of people. Lynn Council's story is a reminder of how far we've come and how far we've yet to go.